I'm Dr. Danielle Nance. I am a hematologist. I'm the mother to a son with hemophilia, and I have hemophilia. I have a very complicated relationship with hemophilia because, you know, on the one hand, I hate hemophilia, but I love hemophilia because it gives me this opportunity to look at the life from that perspective, not the perspective of fear or self-loathing, but the perspective of tenderness and kindness and um, hope, I guess. <laughs> so it's a complicated thing and it took me a long time to come to terms with it and come to peace with it, but through community, anything is possible. Being a woman with hemophilia does come with some uh, unique considerations, and most of them are around reproductive bleeding because a healthy woman will have normal bleeding every month um, as part of being a woman. My big hopes for the women who, um, who are having symptoms of bleeding is that they recognize the symptoms and that they ask for help. Regardless of their factor level, if they're a carrier, they have an 80% chance of having heavy periods and we have excellent treatments for those. So we can take really good care of a woman whether they have a mild bleeding disorder or a severe bleeding disorder um, and really help preserve their fertility if they want children. Having physicians acknowledge and support the symptoms of women qualitatively changes the conversation. Because it's one thing for a woman to report symptoms and the physician brush them off. Because then the woman isn't sure of herself. It's damaging to her self-esteem. Raising awareness of uh, hemophilia in women and to help them find different ways to cope with their symptoms and to have physicians across the world looking for girls with bleeding disorders, offering treatments, saving their reproductive organs, and to help them um, embrace the challenges of their bodies and find a way through it together. It's a dream come true. It's like, it's this beautiful butterfly.